Would you like to sit? Yeah, you wanna come sit with me? Oh, 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 I have been chosen! Here was me in kindergarten. I did not know how to smile. Hello fellow social distancer, <laughs> I can't do this. Hello guys and welcome to my bedroom. It has been a cool minute since we've been here. Usually it's a disaster, but today it's less of a disaster and we're finally doing something that I have put off doing forever and that is decluttering on my channel. So today we're gonna go through my closet, we're gonna go through my books and declutter things because it is springtime. We're all self-isolating, we're all social distancing, so we're all, you know, kind of stuck inside right now. So get excited, get ready for this hot mess express to finally clean up her space and get decluttered and organized. So hop on board and let's go. First step, putting your hair up, up, and away. This is my closet. Closet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great! You were filming, right? Yeah. Oh, that was that awesome. Was so scary. You scream! <laughs> I didn't like that. That's the first time you've ever scared me. I know, it was on camera. That. She doesn't get scared ever. Grab the tripod too. You're like, <laughs> imagine if I swung you. Oh with my it. god. You, you just... might no. die. die. Well, we have duct tape. There we go. What's more American than duct taping an injury because healthcare is too expensive? <laughs> I think first things first, I'm gonna give you guys a brief overview of where everything is in my closet. Up here, I've got my purses. On this little shelf, I have like taller shoes and some uh, cute boots. Usually I have the rest of my berets up on the wall. Then these are like my favorite slash most worn jackets and coats. Here I have like 90% of my shoes. If you guys want to see a shoe collection, I will link it below as well as up in the little cards. On this side of the closet are my husband's clothes. Then over here we have like blazers and coats and my husband's suits and stuff and then usually here we have a bunch of my husband's other shirts and pants and stuff but they're currently in the wash and then on this side t-shirts blouses we have knits overalls sets and dresses up in the corner and then down here we have a plethora of outerwear and my bottom so like skirts and pants in the tv stand that's across from our bed i have all of my jeans so that is a little tour for you just to show you guys where things are and I think the first place I wanna start are my like trousers, pants, and skirts because I know there's a bunch in here that I can declutter. I just realized I forgot to tell you how I'm separating and categorizing things. So there is the keep section, which I'm just gonna keep on my hangers in my closet. Then I'm gonna separate the pieces out that need repairs or need hemming. And then the get rid of section, I'm separating into I think three different piles. So there is the sell pile, there is the donate pile, and then there is my send to my family in the Philippines pile. A couple weeks ago, I did already go through my closet and separate a lot of stuff out that I was gonna be sending to my family in the Philippines. So there won't be as much for that pile, but there still might be like a couple things. Oh, these pants love. They're so pretty. Keeping these. Okay, now these. So I actually have two pairs of cargo pants. I don't need two pairs. So these ones are from Express. These, I like the look of these better. I think the fabric, the quality of these is so much better. They're so much cuter, but I just don't like the way they fit or sit on me. I have been meaning to get them tailored for so long, but now that I have sewing skills, I think I'll just tailor them myself. So I'm gonna hold on to these, but I am going to set them aside so I can take them into my office and tailor them. Just got these from the Rose Bowl. If you haven't seen that video, again, linked below really really cute and they fit so perfectly i'm still shook about how perfectly they fit i found them in a pile on the floor of five dollar clothes these pants are from leah oh love those they're so comfy and cute these are another one i have been meaning to hem this pair of pants is a really fun one they're these like deep purple snakeskin pants and they're the one pair of pants that i own that's actually low rise and i keep them because they are so they look so cool in photos and I love styling them. They're my favorite thing to wear when I go like out at night, which is a rare thing, but when I go out, I like to wear something like that. This skirt, it's originally from one of my favorite brands, Store Rats, and it's so gorgeous and high quality, but I just don't wear it. I've had it for like six months and though I love the style, it's 
just not really like my style. I don't know, I never reach for it. I never wear it, so I am going to sell this one. This skirt, I got in a subscription box. It's this like olive green and black, almost like cheetah print, and it's a maxi skirt, but I suppose you could wear it as like a little strapless dress. It was one of those things that was like, you know what, I think I'd probably wear this. I think I'd probably style it, and I've had it for months, haven't done it, so. This skirt, I think I'm also going to let go of. It's a plaid mini skirt. This skirt is so cute. It's from Princess Polly. I think it's time for it to go. Moving right along. This is one of my oldest thrifted pieces, probably in like 2011. So like nine years, 2010 maybe. It's so cute and cozy. And it's one of my favorite things to wear during colder weather. This little jacket, I love but I don't wear it anymore. I'm pretty busty. I talk about this in most of my videos. I'm a 32E and on a small frame, it's just like sometimes things just like don't fit well or fit right. I'm always sad when I wear this when it's cold because I can never button it up. So I'm gonna let this go. I'll put it in my cousin's group message on Facebook and I'll see if anybody wants it. But if nobody does, then I will sell it on Poshmark. Denim jacket galore time. This one, keep. Passed down for my mom. Also keep. Passed down for my mom. This one, I'm a little bit stuck on because I love this denim jacket. It's a beautiful, like a little bit acid wash denim jacket, but I don't wear it because I don't love it as much as my other ones. On the back, it does have like the brands thing on it. So it says bad music kills good video. And then on the bottom, it says hashtag epidemic sound, which is the music I use in all of my videos. So if you guys like my music, you guys can check them out down below. Super keep, keep, super keep keep. This is for sure a super keep. This is a black denim jacket from Everlane. It's in a beautiful washed black and it's just a gorgeous piece. These are all of my sweatshirts and I wear a heck of a lot of sweatshirts. I work from home full time for YouTube. So I just wear a lot of sweatshirts. I just like to have variety because it makes me feel like, oh, I can still be comfy, but I'm not wearing the same thing every day. I think I might be done in this section. My husband just brought me a cookie. It was the greatest thing ever. At the forefront, we have my favorite white t-shirt, which is from Everlane. I'll link it below. It is the best white t-shirt ever. So I have a couple just like plain white t-shirts that I keep because when I don't know what to wear, when I don't want to like put any effort into something, but I still want to look nice, a white t-shirt is just my go-to because it's so simple, but it looks really nice. I have this one from Kristen Johns from her brand Kristen Made. My Harry Styles fine line one, so good. So I'm gonna hold on to all my white t-shirts because I wear these the most. This top is from Princess Polly. It's the satiny flowy top that ties at the end. But again, I've had this for a couple months, haven't worn it. So I think this one I'm going to sell. And this one is new with tags. Oh, this one I'm so sad. It does not fit on the chest region. It does that thing with the gaping with the buttons when your chest is too big for a top. And it's like just this really beautiful baby blue pajama shirt but it doesn't, it doesn't fit. It doesn't look good. And I can't even put like a snappy clasp because it's just, it's so tight on my bust. This top is another one that I just don't wear. I have so many other cute Disney things that I always opt for over this one. So this t-shirt I'm going to get rid of just for the record. It's like a really big, like oversized tee. And I've worn it a couple times as uh, like a t-shirt dress. And then I've also worn it with bike shorts and it looks really cute. My Harry Styles adore you tee. This I'm going to get rid of because it does not fit. Again, too busty for this top. It looks so much more risque than it should. This I'm gonna get rid of. I feel like we're making some major progress. I have like quite the pile. Shoes. I think these ones I'm going to donate. Dad shoes. They're kind of like Buzz Lightyear looking almost. They're purple and green. And I just like these a lot better than these. I actually thrifted these probably about a year and a half ago. As I started to wear them, I noticed that the bottoms of the shoes, they're legit duct taped on. They are in pretty much the same condition that I bought them from the thrift store in. I might just help them out a little bit and maybe super glue some of the bottom. They're these cheetah print ankle booties. These are from Express. I've had them for about two years. They're not super my style, but when I am doing style videos and I'm talking about like statement shoes or statement pieces or mixing in some sort of like print or pattern, these are such a perfect example, but I don't like them for me. And I already have so many other things that I keep around just for videos or just as an example for a video. 
that I like, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't love these. The last pair of shoes that I'm gonna get rid of and list on Poshmark are these sneakers from Everlane. They're from their Tread collection. And the reason I'm gonna let go of these is because they're brand new. I've never worn them. They still even have like the, the feet packaging in them. And I already have three other pairs of sneakers from Everlane's Tread collection. And this pair is very similar to this pair. This one's only a, just a little bit lighter. So I don't need, I just don't need them. So I'm gonna definitely list these on Poshmark. Now let's move on to blazers and outerwear. So I have a couple pieces that I was looking at. This purple one, this is not the one that I just thrifted in the Philippines, though it does look very similar. It's in the same shade of purple. This one is just in like a petite size. It cuts right off at my hip versus being a more like oversized one as the other one is. I don't need two purple blazers and I like the other one so much better. This I think I'm also going to get rid of. It's a matching blazer and skirt. And I was planning on doing a thrift flip with this. I just never got around to it. And now that I've had it for a while, I don't, I don't know, I just don't love it. And then I think this is the last blazer I'm going to get rid of. It's just not really my style anymore and I know I'm not gonna wear it. I have a lot of jeans, I am aware. <laughs> Ooh, okay, these are the ones that I just got in the Philippines a couple weeks ago. Got this pair for literally a dollar and they're Calvin Klein jeans, the perfect vintage wash. This is my pair from a Fens that is brand new, but it has that vintage mom jean look, which is something I feel like people are always trying to find. I'll try to find like links to things in case you guys wanna check them out. And you guys can also like comment down below and I'll try to find any links for you. Ooh, these are a pair from my mom. I really like these. These are hers from back in the day, from back in the 90s. This denim mini skirt, I'm going to for sure get rid of. It's too tight on me. It does not fit me anymore. Ooh, these are the white Levi's that I just bought from the Rose Bowl. And so many of you guys were like, did you literally actually pay $100 for used jeans? And I was like, yes, yes I did. These I'm for sure getting rid of. I just don't wear them. These I also got in a subscription box. And when I pulled them out, I was like, oh my goodness, these are so cute. And I still think they're really, really pretty, but I just don't wear them. They're not enough my style that I reach for them. Definitely keeping this pair. These are one of my favorites. They're these black flare jeans from Topshop. They're the Jamie jeans in the flare style. This is the same pair of jeans, but in the skinny style. Oh, this pair of jeans. Okay, I've been putting off getting rid of these for a long time. And they're Levi's Altered 501 Skinny. These were my go-to jeans, my favorite pair of jeans. These don't fit anymore. And it's not kind of like, oh, maybe if I lost like five or 10 pounds, it's just like, like my hips are a little bit bigger. Like my, you know, it's just like my body has changed shape. So sad to say, I'm gonna let these go. They're so beautiful. Every time I would wear them, so many of you guys would be like, where are those jeans from? Now, the next jean is another pair of Levi 501s. They're a distressed looking pair. I've worn them, I think probably less than 10 times, probably like five times, just because these are so, these are the kind of jeans I'll really suck you in. These are like the mom jean. And I have other mom jeans I love so much more. And then the last pair of jeans, I'm also gonna get rid of that. They are these super cool 70s style dark wash denim flared jeans. They are beautiful. They are an amazing denim, very thick and sturdy. This is another one of my favorite pairs of jeans that I just don't wear anymore because they fit so tight. Like even when I got them, I got them in my size and like right when I tried them on, I was like, oh, these run tight. But with these pants, it was one of those situations where you buy it online and you're like, okay, this doesn't fit, I'll return them. You just never get around to going to the post office to return them. The package sits by your front door waiting to be returned and you just don't get around to it. Then the time passes and then you have them. I feel like even as a size four slash 27, they do run even smaller than that. Welcome to the floor of my bedroom. So now we're gonna move on to books. Girl Boss, keeping this, love that book. This is a sequel to one of my favorite books ever, Girl Wash Your Face. If you guys need a good read, would recommend. Journal, journal. I saw this the other day when I was cleaning and I was like, ooh, this is perfect to do like maybe challenges together over on Instagram while we're all in self isolation. Most of these ones in the front are ones I'm keeping. Grace Not Perfection, an amazing book. This is the corresponding journal to that book, keeping this. This is a book I got for my husband. If you guys didn't know, my husband also does YouTube. The Crazy Rich Asian series trilogy. This is such a good trilogy. If you guys like the movie, if you haven't seen the movie, first of all, go see the movie because it's so, so good. And then the books are even better. Oh, I love these books. There is just so much 
there's even more sass and style and I love Kevin Kwan's writing style. It's so, so good. The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. You know, I liked this book, but I didn't like it as much as everybody was like, oh my gosh, this book was life-changing. It's so good. I don't know. I didn't think it was like as great. I don't think I'm ever going to read this again. Like so far, all of these are ones that I just recently got and are planning to read and am planning to read or ones that I plan to reread or ones that I've already reread and I know I'll reread in the future. This one, I just don't think I'm going to reread. This is another one that I thought was good, but I just didn't love it. I think this should go in storage. This is my wedding guest book where people like sign it. Oh, there's one for my grandma. I love you both. Just as my favorite granddaughter. Love, Grandmother March. I'm her only granddaughter, <laughs> which was always the joke because she'd always be like, Jess, you're my favorite granddaughter. And I'd be like, Grandma, I'm your only granddaughter. And she's like, yeah, but you're my favorite. Oh, this is my wedding album that my aunt made me. This is something my mom just gave me. And I'm like, Wade and I don't have many pictures printed. And if we do, they're hung on the wall. Uh, but my mom gave me this. It's like a photo album and I just, I know I'm never going to use it. It's very, it's very traditional. It's a little, it's not my style. All of these books were on a, like one of those Ikea calyxes, like the thing with eight cubes. They're just like a shelving unit. But recently we moved it from the corner from being a bookcase and we put it next to the bed to be more of like a dresser slash side table. And it looks really, really great. But now all of these books don't really have a home. So they might just stay down here if I can make them look nice and not cluttery. That's kind of why everything is just shoved here and haphazardly placed. Oh, this is a cookbook actually from my grandmother's mother. This was hers when she was in the women's club. So this little cookbook is from 1942. I wonder if, ooh, I'm gonna try and find my grandmother's mother, one of her recipes. Oh, here we go, nut bread. I'm gonna try that, how fun. Wait, that's so special. I have to tell my grandma about this. Ooh, she has an angel food cake recipe. Oh my gosh. Look how cute this little vintage ad is. That is the cutest thing ever. I have to call my grandma and tell her I just refound this because my grandma gave me this probably like four or five years ago. I'll go bring my grandma the, the recipes to try. <laughs> I found this in storage a while ago when we moved. It's this book that I made in sixth grade. It's called All About Me. And it's all about me in the sixth grade. It's like my family, hobbies, there's a friends collage. I have a poem in here. Let's read my family chapter. I am the luckiest person to have a family like mine. My family includes my two brothers, my mom, my dad, and me, of course. I am the middle child. My oldest brother, Andrew, doesn't live with us, but is tons of fun. My little brother Joshua fights with me a lot. I <laughs> have a lot. I have a Chihuahua named Olive who is a part of the family as well. In our family, we don't really have any special traditions. We just do it the way it is. <laughs> Why is this the funniest thing ever? Even though we fight and argue, I know I have an amazing family. Ooh, here is my poem. It's called, Who Am I? It's kind of like a guided prompt, so that's why my poetry isn't, you know, top notch. Who am I? A friend, a student, a daughter. Do other people really know who I am? To my parents, I am artistic. To my teachers, one who is genial. Sometimes I am dependable, while other times, lost. <laughs> I am a part of the whole, part of a family, part of a class, part of my friends, part of the world. Mature when it comes to grades, I am one who is determined, yet a child when ignored or with friends. I am always looking for answers, working hard, striving, dreaming, hoping, never giving up. I remember how lucky I am, and yet sometimes I am self-centered, often wanting to help, having high expectations, wanting to save animals. Sometimes I want to break free from the crowd, only to be disappointed. Who am I? Dramatic, creative, curious, sensitive, and most of all, a story to be written. Wow, I was deep. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry I'm reading so much out of this book, but wow, I was a wacky kid. Okay, there's a chapter called Early Years. Then the second <laughs> paragraph is so weird. Kids are so weird. I was in the sixth grade and I was this weird. Okay, it says, Another memory I have is going to my grandmother's house. She used to have this cat, Whitey, who would growl, bite, and attack me because I tried to pet her. Even though I didn't like her, I was still kind of sad when she died. 
Callie, one of my grandma's other cats, had a deformed ear. Later on, I found out that a dog had bitten her ear and it had to be surgically removed. Not totally though, so don't panic. Why was I talking about my grandma's cat who had her ear surgically removed? Like what a weird thing to include in a book about me. But you know what? I'm glad I wrote it because now I have this memory. This was me at sixth grade camp. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just found the best picture that I have to show you. Here was me in kindergarten. I did not know how to smile and the photographer tried helping me smile. Here's little kindergarten me. Look how fluffy my hair was. That's enough of a gem. So this is gonna go in storage. That is a fun one. How to get away. So I actually have two copies of this. So I'm going to donate that. A lot of these are like YA books that I got forever ago and they kind of just like moved with me as I moved over the years and grew up and stuff. A history of the world in six glasses. Beer, wine, spirits, coffee, tea, and cola. And it says, each drink is a kind of technology, a catalyst for advancing culture by which he demonstrates the intricate interplay of different civilizations. So gonna donate that because I'm not gonna read it again. But one thing I do wanna show you is this. So Aladdin is one of my favorite animated movies. And I have this, my husband gave me this, and it's not a VHS, though it does look like one. It is actually a super rad notebook. Isn't that so cool? What is this about? I don't remember. At any given moment in other people's houses, you can find repressed hopes and dreams, moments of unexpected joy. <laughs> this is definitely a uh, PG-13. Uh, a woman on the floor making love to a man who is definitely not her husband, record scratch. As the longtime local carpool bomb, Frances Bloom is sometimes an unwilling witness to her neighbor's private lives. She knows her cousin is hiding her desire for another baby from her spouse. Bill Horton's wife is mysteriously missing. Okay, that sounds sus. And now this. After the shock of seeing Anne Porter in all her extramarital glory, Frances vows to stay in her own lane. But that's a notion easier said than done when Anne's husband throws her out a couple of days later. The repercussions of the affair reverberate through the four carpool families and Frances finds herself navigating a moral minefield that could make or break a marriage. Okay, I don't think I've read this. I thought I read this. I'm gonna keep this because this sounds juicy. So holding on to that, I decluttered a good amount. I'm like pretty happy with all of the stuff. Quite the pile of things, books. I didn't put the shoes on the bed for obvious reasons, but wow. So yeah, that is today's declutter. If you guys liked it and you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and commenting down below on other videos you'd wanna see. I hope you guys are having an okay time with this whole isolation and social distancing thing. I know it can be so, um, like isolating to just be at home all the time. But I have some other videos that I think might just bring you guys a smile or some joy or some ideas on what to do with your time to make it go by a little bit easier. So keep an eye out for those. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please stay healthy. Know I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.